Hello everyone! So today I am going to go over the candles and wax melts that I have gone through in January. So uh, I have been testing out a lot of new wax. Um, if you watched some of my past videos recently, I've done a lot of Goose Creek hauls. They're now shipping to Canada and I have um, purchased a lot of Sensationals, Better Homes and Gardens, and Fusion Wax Melts uh, from the States. Uh, Jules brought some up when he went to uh, for a visit to Miami, and then I went over the border, which is only just an hour away, and um, I went to uh, Myers and uh, Walmart in uh, Port Huron, Michigan, and yeah, I brought back a lot of wax melts. So I've been doing a lot of testing of these new wax melts and I'm just loving it. I just love trying some new wax. So anywho, uh, okay, let's start this video off right and I'll start with the first candle that I got through and that is, oh yeah, oh yeah, flam. I mean, that, that's the way to start a video, right? Um, yeah, flannel, I always go through at least one of these uh, every winter. Um, it, actually, it's great all year round because I find it a very cozy, comforting scent. And uh, yeah, I don't remember any issues with the burn with this one. This always is a strong throw for me. It's just very comforting and a uh, great bedroom scent. <laughs> um, yeah, I just absolutely love that one. And then this one I'm going to probably finish up um, probably by tomorrow. Should be done by tomorrow, but I thought I'd show it anyhow. And that is Tis the Season by uh, Bath and Body Works. And this is just a beautiful, decadent kind of apple scent. And what I've been doing is uh where's my other one so this one is a very good mixer also um so i put this either in the kitchen or the family room it's just kind of one big area the kitchen and the eat eating area and the family room and i have had this burning in one room and then the other room i had um fresh balsam uh by bath and body works and oh my god this was poured 2016 so yeah i'm st i really do have to get to these older ones. But yeah, uh, fresh balsam and tis the season uh, mixed together. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, this one, tis the season, is actually a little bit stronger than um, fresh balsam, even though this is a fairly uh, strong scent. But when one's in one room and one's in the other, they kind of mix in the middle. Oh, it is such a good combination. Just love this one. Haven't had any issues with the burn yet on this one. Um, this is kind of the mark about two-thirds of the way through where it does start maybe getting puny wicks or something like that. But I mean, so far, so good. And yeah, very, very nice combination. And yeah, there's no issues. Um, I don't believe there's any issues with this one. I might have had a cotton ball at once. but And the other scent um, that I was melting with this particular one was crushed candy cane by bath and body works and this does smell like a candy cane and these two when they kind of met in the middle there um man this was a wonderful combination too this tis the season goes with a lot of different scents and yeah this one um i think i did cotton ball the the crushed candy cane one and this throw was about a six or seven and this kind of overpowered it but um kind of when they met in the middle you could still kind of smell each scent but yeah um very nice combination also all righty and then uh this is peppermint sugar cookie by bath and body works um i've gone through a few of these and yeah it did well in my kitchen which, which needs a powerhouse so um in a smaller room it certainly would mean very very strong uh yeah it's just it's a kind of a it's more subdued than like crushed candy cane or twisted peppermint it's a, it's a much more subdued kind of peppermint mixed with the cookie but yeah i've gone through a few of these and uh, always enjoy that scent so that is it for the candles and um 
What am I going to start with? So the wax melts. Oh, so um, uh, when Julian went down, I ordered off the Walmart website and I got a five pack of Rustic Woods by ba Better Homes and Gardens. So this particular one I've had for a few years and I've been kind of rationing it because I did not want to run out. And I'm so glad they still have it. Um, I know some people can't find it in their Walmart, but if it's on the website, the Walmart website. So, um, but it's not, I don't know, I was going to say it was not on their website, but Sensationals, it's a different company. So anyway, uh, I digress. But yeah, Warm Rustic Woods. Oh, yeah, I just, oh, I absolutely love this one. This is a value pack. I have one value pack left and then I can uh, go on to my newer, newer ones. But yeah, this one, um, oh, it is just so good. It's, it's it's not a colony scent to me. It's I guess you could say it's masculine, but to me it's not colony. There is a note in there that is just so good. It's like a spicy, warm, spicy wood scent. And I just, oh, I just love this one. I am so glad it's still around and I was able to get my hands on it because this is so good. I put one or two cubes in my bedroom in my Yankee centerpiece warmer, I just take the empty cups um, and throw other wax melts in there. And yeah, this just fills up my bedroom. I just find these woodsy scents so relaxing and comforting. I just uh, love wrapping myself up in my flannel sheets and reading my book and having some tea and have this going. It's just so relaxing. Such a wonderful scent. Alrighty, and then this is uh, Flannel Sheets, and this is by um, Country Home Candles, which is located here in Ontario, uh, kind of a family-run store. And yeah, they had a, a sale, so I was able to get some more of this Flannel Sheets. Um, it's my, definitely my favorite laundry scent. I do love laundry scents, and this is just my favorite. It is just so comforting and soft and just so cozy there's just some note in there that I just I don't know it just reminds me of childhood and on laundry night when my mom would bring up the laundry and she'd give me my little uh blankie and I would snuggle with that after it's come out of the dryer I was just uh, I just absolutely love this scent and I put one cube in the um either the bedroom or the bathroom uh, at night and yeah it's just pretty good throw not they're kind of hit and miss with that company the throw but that one throws quite well and this is sensationals home is where the heart is so i wish they would bring back these dual packs i really enjoyed these scents so one side is welcome and one side is cranberry oatmeal um cookies so it was kind of a Appley cinnamon scent, the welcome one, and then it was mixed with that cranberry oatmeal cookie. So it, it really did smell quite nice together. Probably just a medium throw. Um, it wasn't the strongest throw. It wasn't a wow me kind of scent, um, but uh, it was enjoyable. And this is from Goose Creek. This is the toasty. Oops. A haunted wall wax melt here toasty hot toddy uh, so this is uh, caramel there's a nuttiness in there um, maybe a little bit of a boozy vibe to it it's just kind of that, that just rich liqueur almost kind of smell to it but yeah it's very rich decadent kind of caramel nutty kind of scent um, I do want to I hope they come out with the pumpkin hot toddy I know I tried that in the past and it's so, so good. Um, but yeah, this one, I uh, I think I started with one cube and then I went up to two cubes. And yeah, it filled up the kitchen. It wandered out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a, a very rich, yummy, decadent scent. And this is Quiver by Scentsy. And I forgot the scent notes. But yeah, this one was actually a very unique kind of like a fruity perfumey kind of scent but yeah I did like it and um uh 
God, the throw was probably about an eight or so, and it was it was long lasting. So yeah, quiver. Oh, Jason, you make me quiver. Um, yeah, great bedroom sound. Uh, now this one I haven't finished, but I just thought I'd update you about this particular Goose Creek um, wax melt, and that is Winter Splendor. And so right now I have this in the bedroom, and I put uh, two cubes in. Probably could have done with one, but I, I really want to... I just love the scent, so I put two cubes in. And yeah, it's filling up my bedroom. I can, it's kind of wandering down here. Um, yeah, it's just so good. It's like uh, berries and woods and cinnamon, a little bit of mint, and just a whole yummy mixture of those. It, it is just so good. It is just a perfect winter scent. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I did get it in the... Um, do I got wax on my lip? I did get it in the candle because I love this this scene. So it's got a wraparound label with this scene on it. And I got a couple of other um, wax melts also. I just absolutely love this one. Alrighty, and this is uh, Teddy B's Winterfell. And this is Marshmallow Fireside, White Birch, Icy Snow, Vanilla, and Palo santo and yeah you definitely got that um soft creamy marshmallow kind of scent um, a little bit of a woodsy scent uh, mixed in there some vanilla and yeah this one actually filled up um, the bedroom and was uh, fairly long lasting and this is fireside by ella after wax and this one is sandalwood, leather, amber, and musk. So this one was like a very soft, kind of more like a soft suede than like a leather where you're walking into like a leather store where they're selling jackets and that. It's very soft. Um, yeah, I did get a little bit of the musky sandalwood and the, um, the, the leather. Amber, I wouldn't say I got that. Very, It's very soft. Um, this one was light, though. Um, I kind of struggled a little bit, even my bedroom, to smell that one. I did like the scent, but it was a, it was light. And this is uh, Carrot Cake Pop by Goose Creek. And I love Carrot Cake scents and yeah this one i did put two cubes in here and i did put it sort of in between the kitchen and, and my office and that's kind of a weird twilight zone for my scents um because the scents you can't smell it right where that's burning it kind of i don't know the air circulation or something pushes it into my office so it's just one of those things but anyway carrot cake pop i did have to use uh two cubes. I started off with one, but I went to two cubes. It's a very authentic carrot cake scent. Uh, you can even get that kind of uh, cream cheese icing. And yeah, I, I really, really did enjoy that one. And this is Perfectly Pine by Sensationals. And this is another excellent mixer. So when I had this melting, um, I usually had like a peppermint scent going also in another room or a berry scent, like a winter berry scent. Um, it is such a good evergreen scent. It is very strong, very long lasting. Oh, it's so good. And there's a little hint of sweetness in there also. But yeah, um, it's great on its own and it's great as a mixer. And this is uh, Silent Night by Sensationals. And this one actually is, it's not really a wintry scent, I would say. It's just a, it's just a kind of a clean, fresh, soapy, perfumey kind of scent. Yeah, you know, I just put it in my bathroom, uh, just one cube, and um, uh, probably lasted a good 24 hours or so, just the one cube, and then it tapered off pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, it's just one I would not um, melt year round, but... Yeah, I got this quite a while ago, so. And this is Fall in Love with Tuscany by Sensationals. This is an oldie but a goodie. And yeah, I wish they would bring some of these older scents back. But this is woodsy. It's almost like pencil shavings, almost. 
There's a little bit of greenery in there, like a dark greenery kind of scent. It's very rich. Uh, it's a, kind of a deep greenery woodsy scent. So yeah, I really did like that one. And this is uh, another Sensationals dual pack. This is Coffee Cafe. And yeah, I, I maybe have a couple of these left. This one really does quite well. So one side is spice sugar cookies and the other side is mocha frappe latte. Um, yeah, very nice coffee scent. Uh, you, get the co you get a coffee, not an overly uh, blatant kind of coffee scent. Um, it's really tamed down with the... Um, kind of that caramel and the, the sugar cookie and that sort of thing. But it's a nice, it's a really nice mixture. And it's, it's you know, maybe about a seven throw. And um, yeah, it did quite well. I like that one. This is True North by Sensationals. And this is, it's sort of like a citrusy bergamot scent. Um, but it's a little, it's sweeter, like, than Bergamot Waters by Bath & Body Works. It's similar but different. This one just has a little bit of sweetness to it. So this is about a medium throw, maybe a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, I had to use at least two cubes to, to fill up my bedroom or the bathroom. And uh, this is another oldie but goodie, Sensational's Hidden Cottage. And yeah, this one is a woodsy amber scent. Very strong, very deep. Oh, I just, I really like that one. Um, yeah, so hopefully some something similar will pop up for that one. But that's it. That is my empties uh, for January. So hopefully within the next day or two, I can do my book reviews. Unfortunately, I only got through four books, which is not very good for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. My brain was just scattered, I guess. Um, so I also uh, did quite a book haul uh, from, um, you know, Amazon and thrift stores and book outlet. I got like about 30 books here. So um, I think I'll just do a combination book review and book haul. I got some really, really great books. I just can't wait to get into them. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing well and um, Everyone take care, give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.